Welcome back to the warm-up. We are two weeks in the NBA season. I want to talk about what teams are all in this year. Like who has everything to lose and who can actually pull this off. Let's talk about it. So first, I wanted to go over the term all in. Like what does all in mean? The saying comes from poker, I'm guessing what it is. But I mean, all in means they're betting all of their remaining chips on a single hand. This move could be both exciting and risky and is often used as a last resort when a player believes they have a strong hand but do not have enough chips to make a standard bet. So there are some teams that fall into this category. And I want to look at this article by The Ringer talking about their all 2024-2025 NBA all-in decks. I think it's... I love The Ringer, man. There's such, such good wordplay over here. But I mean, they have ranked teams based off of their ability to go all-in and what that looks like in terms of money and in terms of draft assets for the next coming year. Like how good this team is set up for the future. Now, not every single good team is just gonna be at the top. There's gonna be some better teams, I'm assuming, that have a lot of draft capital and a lot of money left over that are not gonna be considered all in. So what are my main bets for who's gonna be all in? I mean, the Suns are basically gonna be the, the, the poster child for this. I mean, the top three guys on the team, KD, D-Book, and Bradley Beal are all, all around 30. Uh, D-Book, I think is 29. They're all worth $50 million a year. Uh, not a ton of youth on that lineup. I mean, Ryan Dunn has been a very, very good pickup for them. Um, they got Grayson Allen, who's like, I wouldn't call him young either. They actually don't have a lot of young players, honestly. Tyus Jones is now a little bit older. So I think I, I, at the top of this list is gonna be the Phoenix Suns. If it's not, I'd be shocked. Uh, another team that is honestly all in, just in terms of the, the parameters that we have in this, in terms of money and draft capital, Boston Celtics, I mean, top two guys are worth half a billion dollars combined. Uh, and they re-signed their entire roster this past year. So there's not a ton of money there. So I think if, if they're going off of their metrics, the ringers metrics where it's all money, how much money they have left, how much draft capital they have left, the, the Boston Celtics could be considered all in based off of these parameters, right? So this is a lot less desperate than Phoenix's situation. I like 100% guarantee because Boston's coming off a championship title. Phoenix has not, like KD has not won a title since 2018. Uh, D-Book went to the finals in 21, but outside of that, like Brian Beals never sniffed the finals. So this team is a lot more desperate than the Boston Celtics, but I think the Celtics are still in that category for talking about. The other team that I have down in terms of all in is one of the oldest rosters in the league, Clippers. The Los Angeles Clippers, my favorite team. If you're new to the channel, shout out, what's up? Uh, they've sold their souls for Paul George and they don't have a pick until 2030. So Cooper Flag. You are now in OKC Thunder, you're welcome. Not saying the Clippers are gonna be bad, but just in terms of, once again, the parameters that we're talking about here, Clippers have a decent amount of money left, but they have zero draft capital, like zip. It is gone for the next six to seven years. So it's gonna be very interesting to see who is on this ranking and who's where, and we'll talk about uh, talk about that. Those are my picks before I wanted to see, like, okay, who, who am I trying to guess is gonna be at the top? Then afterwards, I on, off cam before I did this, I went and looked at it and I wrote down some notes. So let's just take, take a look. I mean, right here, yeah, I was kind of right in my overall prediction. Uh, the Suns, in terms of money score, no money left, a lot of payout, not a lot of draft capital, right? Um, you can kind of see right here, I guess the Clippers do have some money, but they don't have a lot of draft, right? Celtics are up there as well, they're the top five, a lot of money paid out. I guess they've got some good picks and stuff. They have their own picks, but it's gonna be the Celtics, so it's like they're gonna win 60 games every year. Are they gonna get a top 20 pick? Probably not. So it's kind of skewed like that. but. Interestingly enough, the Minnesota Timberwolves were up here. Like, I get that they're paying a decent amount of money for Gobert and Ant. I guess he's gonna be re-signed. Ant has got a lot of money, but outside of that, I don't, I don't know a whole ton of like thing. I, I guess they don't have a lot of draft capital, which is really interesting. Um, the Knicks are in the same position. I mean, I could see that now that I'm thinking about it. I see it right here. The Knicks did go all in for Cat, right? They gave him DiVincenzo, Randall. They traded a bunch of stuff for Mikael Bridges. OJ Ananobi trade last year. Resigned Jalen Brunson. I mean, they kind of have their five, six guys, including Deuce McBride, and hopefully Mitchell Robinson comes back. But outside of that, they have their guys. They paid them all out. They don't have a lot of future in terms of draft assets and stuff like that. So that's why they're up here. It's very interesting to see them like that. Cavs are in the same position, which I was not expecting overall. I mean, it looks like they don't have a lot of draft, uh, like picks and stuff like that. I guess that is what that means, but it's very interesting. Bucks, same thing. Money, draft, like Nuggets, Lakers, Clippers, Sixers. Sixers is really interesting. I guess the Sixers have a lot of a lot of picks or something, but I, <laughs> but I was right for the most part. I mean, I, my, the three teams I picked to be the top are in the top 10. Celtics are the five, but I was not expecting to think about the Knicks and the Timberwolves. Timberwolves number two, that is wild. We're gonna look at their draft, their draft picks and when they got them. And boy, does this look rough, holy crap. I mean, yeah, a second round pick 
next year, two, uh, two second round picks next year, then a second round the year after, then a first round. Oh boy, this is rough. Yeah, they don't have any first round picks except for 2028, which is their own, which is probably not gonna be amazing. They have like no picks going forward. So it's gonna, it's kind of funny that they went all in for Rob Dillingham this year. I mean, they. now that I'm thinking about it, they did go, I literally just said they went all in for Rob Dillingham. They literally have gone all in. All in. So it just doesn't look like it in, in terms of, like when we're talking about all in, I was thinking about the Phoenix Suns, like a team that's older, a lot of money shoved out and it, they're just, they're going for what they got. Ant is young. They got some, they got um, DiVincenzo's not super old. Gobert is, he's there, but I mean, he's a four-time DPO-wise, so he's, he's a good anchor to have. Jay McDaniels is fire. Mike Conley's getting up there. Now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, yeah, they're, they're pretty much all in. So that's really interesting to see a number two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but let's look at the bottom. Like, who's in the bottom, right? Nets, obviously, they're not all in. They are the opposite of all in. Same with Jazz. Spurs is really interesting because they have Webby, but it's not their time yet. And look who's at number four, bro. Number tw sorry, number 27, I guess. Bro, the Thunder, and look at that. All of that draft assets and all of that money left over. Holy crap. The number one seed in the West is like, at, like has the best future. Like I know that we've, like, we've said that and we've seen it, but like looking at it right here is nutty, dude. This is crazy. Because all these other teams are dog water. Nets, Jazz, Spurs, they're fine. Wizards, Blazers. Hornets have been okay. Rockets are pretty good. Then you get Bulls, Pistons, Raptors, Pelicans. Just a bunch of mid. And then the number one seed in the West, like smack down the middle of that. The Thunder, dude, Sam Presti, shout out, bro. I mean, I mean, look at the, the disparity right here. From 26 to 27, negative 19 to negative 45. Just hits a freaking, like, these guys are not, I wouldn't say the Wizards are contending at all, actually. But in comparison to here and here, like where these guys are, these guys are rebuild mode. The Wizards... You could, I yeah, I guess you could say rebuild. Then the Thunder right there, man. So I mean, they made a ton of moves. A Caruso, I heart, re-sign of the guys. I do think that the Thunder payroll is gonna get really, really crazy soon. I mean, just look at it right here. So Shea's the only one who's guaranteed over 100 million dollars. I heart next, and it's like half of what Shea's making. So this year's looking pretty good, but they got a lot of guys for the next two, three, four years. Like this is crazy, by the way. Nikola Topic is making more than Jalen Williams. Th this this season and he's not even playing that's not uh, homie's fault but i mean like still it also doesn't help that i mean Jalen williams is, is definitely an ascending contract it's very interesting i mean look at the guys who have two years left in their contract you got chet uh caruso's up for next year uzman jang uh J, J dub melody leon i guess but um and then you got guys i mean aj mitchell's been balling out for him actually alex Tuka, pretty good too like it's very interesting to see they, they they spent money extremely well. They got three guys locked up for like four to five years, uh, over 150 million dollars each. Seems like honestly too big of a window to be all in, in my opinion. Like having these guys for this long. I mean, you got OG until 2028, 20, 29. That's that's a pretty fat window. I mean, the whole Warriors dynasty didn't even last six years. Like I guess that's five five years. You get what I'm saying. This, that's a long time. There's a long window. They can do a lot in that window. So I don't know if all in is necessarily like the correct term, especially for them to be like what the third most all in team, even though I understand the circumstances, this just happened. They just pushed it all in. Whereas the Suns have been that way for about two years since they got KD. So very interesting to look at. I think the ringer did really, really good at this. I think it was really, really interesting to look at all the different, the things that visually for me to see OKC that far down and how much money they have, how many assets they have. As a Clippers fan, I understand that the Thunder like just robbed us. It's just cool for me to see teams that are set up for the future and, and how they're set up. But hey, these teams got a lot of money. Okay, this team doesn't have a lot of money, but they got a lot of draft assets and draft picks and stuff like that and swaps. Or, or they have none of both or they have a lot of both, right? So it's very interesting to see that. And I think the Ringer did a very good job at, at showcasing. I think the metric was pretty good. Um, that's all I got for today. If you guys are new to the channel, Check out, I just did a whole Contenders or Pretenders series where I did a, a video for every single NBA team. So if you, NBA team, so your favorite NBA team is on there. So go check that out and you can see my, maybe we'll have to do like a review or something for the beginning of the season, or maybe like middle of the season, quarter season review week like I did last year. Be kind of fired to do. Uh, that's all I got for today, bro. I'm excited to start pushing on some more content. Uh, I'm trying to do a lot more shorts. I'm trying to do a lot more of these videos. I like these. I'm just trying to do this, bro. I'm still in school. I'm going to kind of hit midterm. So if, if not a lot of content's coming out, 
I'm trying my best, bro. I also want to do. I have been tinkering with the 2K um, series on the on the my uh, the members only. So go check that out. It's only two bucks a month. I want it. If you guys want to support me, that'd be freaking fire. But I'm playing 2K over there just because it's fun. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a 2K channel. But I want to get this this going for us. I mean, I know I just hit a thousand subscribers, but I want to really lock this in and go crazy. Uh, that's all I got for today. We out.